Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the ah, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> all right, Sag, all I can really say for you right now is that you are on the move, okay? And that's not, that's really nothing new for you. Um, I'm feeling very warm in your, in your energy. So it's like, it's like you're really gung-ho about something. You're really trying to move somewhere. Maybe you're trying to move homes um or just go 
I feel like I feel like you just want to experience something new. You like want to go on an adventure. You might be feeling restless. That makes sense, especially if you're here in the United States. It is winter here, or if it's winter wherever you are, um, you might be feeling cooped up. <laughs> you might be getting a little bit of cabin fever already, which I could totally see. Um, what I'm hearing is you want to move in a different direction than you've been, or than you've been going in in the past. Or you want to be somewhere different than you have been in the past. And go for it. Go on an adventure, all right? That's what you want. So do it. Do it, honey. All right, Sagittarius. One more shuffle for you. And then we'll get into it. All righty. All right, overall energy for you, Sagittarius. Do we have the hoof? The nine of wands. Okay, so um, yeah, perseverance. I really do feel like, yeah, this makes sense as to why you may want to go somewhere new um, because you've been fighting and fighting and fighting and struggling and struggling and struggling where you've been or where you are and it's like you, you're wanting to give up the fight almost. This is a card of perseverance. Some of you are coming to terms with the fact that you've been persevering for naught. Like it's not, and, and the situation is just not going to go the way you wanted it to. And you might be finally coming to a realization of that. You have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, but then you have the Two of Pentacles and you have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So for some of you, this could be a family situation. This could be a twin flame situation. This could be a long-term romantic relationship. You could be married. Um... But I just see here, with especially with this Two of Pentacles energy, it's like you're just, you've just been, I'm hearing keeping up appearance, saving face, um, going back and forth, trying to keep the balance, maybe juggling between partners, I don't know. Um, uh, oh, also the other thing I was hearing is potentially like maybe like walking on eggshells with someone. Um, that could be, that really could be coming to an end though. And I'm seeing that in this seven of wands energy here. It's like you're either really guarded and defensive towards someone about something or over about something, um, or you're finally putting your foot down. You're finally putting up some barriers here. Oh, sorry. My door's still open. Um, you're finally putting up some barriers. You're laying down some ground rules, some, some, um, Boundaries, all right? Some of you might have been, you. some of you might be with somebody right now, like in, act, in an actual commitment. And I don't mean like, or an actual relationship. I don't mean like just like an energetic connection or something. I mean like some of you are actually in a relationship with someone that you thought at one point would be a marriage material and you've been like working towards that, but it's not really going the way you want it to. Um, you're, there's just too much, there's too much of a juggling energy going on and it's exhausting you. It's tiring you out and you're needing to place firmer boundaries in place. Like relationships are a two way street. Okay. So if you have this relationship that you're in and like you're having to do all, all the work or they're having to do all the work and things are not balanced there are greater, stronger boundaries that need to be put into place. Someone has to pick up their end of the slack, okay? That was for a specific number of some of you, somehow, all right? Uh, your first row is the, are the energies moving into February. Second row is going to be the energies going deeper into February, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, uh, Sagittarius. You have the Nine of Swords. From the Nine of Wands to the Nine of Swords, all right? This is, these are endings, though. I, I really feel like something's coming to an end. For some of you, you're coming to the end of your rope. And this really could be why you just want to go. So you just want to go somewhere else. You just don't want to deal with this anymore. But there's anxiety surrounding it. Now, there's anxiety in the situation, but there's also a bit of anxiety in trying to move forward. But if you know you would be happier having left this situation behind, whatever we're talking about here, there's no reason for anxiety. But then it's like, well, but these are family or what is this person going to do without me and blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. 
all right? Don't even go there. If this situation is not making you happy, if it's causing you turmoil, if it's more trouble than it's worth, here, I, there, then cut yourself loose from it. Cut yourself free. Nine of Swords is coupled with the Hermit. Ooh, wow. Some of you are really having to get down to the nitty gritty, like get to the core of your being and figure some shit out. For some of you, it is this person that's not really picking up their end of the slack that is needing to do some soul searching. And the other person is kind of like anxious about it because they're like, are they ever going to take responsibility for themselves, basically? Or if you are the one that's having to take responsibility for yourself, you're like, holy shit, I don't think I can ever really do that. I don't think I can ever really step up, be the person that I know I should be. Others of you are dealing with this inner soul searching and it's you're facing some things that you really don't like. But then for others of you, you know who you are, like you know who you are as a person and you know what your truth is and you know what you stand for and you know you're having to put your foot down, but that's giving you anxiety. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies you have... The Five of Pentacles. Someone's about to get left out in the cold. But to be quite honest, I feel like... Someone here has already been left out in the cold and is about to now turn the tables. Rejection. Destitution. Someone definitely doesn't feel like they're good enough. Or they will ever be good enough. And that I'm feeling mostly on the side of the person that needs to pick up some of the slack here. Okay. Five of Pentacles is coupled with strength. But you see, what I'm hearing is having the strength to stand on your own two feet. Now, at the same time, with that said, you could be dealing with a Leo. You also could be dealing with a Virgo, with the Hermit here. Okay. Your challenge, moving into February, you have the moon. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Piscean. Illusion, fear, secrets, the unknown. Dreams, your dream world. Some of you are dreaming about this. And you're dreaming of solutions, but you're not really facing them or you're not necessarily taking action on them. That could be this Nine of Swords energy here coupled with the hermit because you have insights deep insights that are coming in from you know your higher self your subconscious that you're needing to deal with you're needing to face but definitely the challenge here is the unknown is illusion okay the moon is coupled with the king of cups could be dealing with a scorpio or another water sign, Cancer or Pisces. Doesn't have to be though. It could be anybody. But I feel like somebody is lying about their true feelings here. And, and someone is needing to see through that. And it also, and Spirit is actually pointing out, with the moon, um, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be lying. It could just be like not completely telling the truth or not telling the not telling the story as it really is not being completely open like like being somewhat open but still keeping some things a secret in appeasement personally i would call that emotional uh emotional abuse um emotional manipulation narcissism sociopathic tendencies that type of thing and the king of cups can represent that Sometimes more so than the King of Wands. Okay. Your closing message or the potential outcome here for you, Sagittarius, moving into February, you have my, my, the Four of Wands. So, like I said, some of you really could be moving, trying to move homes.
Also, though, for others of you, I do feel like you could be getting your stability back. Your grounding within yourself. Standing strong, tall, and firm in who you are. And as a result, getting some sort of victory through that. But there still needs, there's still work that needs to be done here, okay? Don't rest on your laurels. You still have work to do is one of the messages of the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Swords. If you want your, st your own personal foundation back, if you want greater stability for yourself, You've got to cut yourself out of this mental prison. This mental entrapment. Trapping yourself in places that you don't want to be. Okay. Moving into, moving deeper into February, second, first set of surrounding energies. Moving deeper into February, you have, there you go. There's that victory I was talking about. Six of Wands. Pride and ego, sure. Don't let your pride and your ego get the best of you, but I'm seeing a victory here in standing tall, standing truthful, standing up for yourself. And it really could be a small victory, but it's a victory that you can have pride in. Okay? The Six of Wands is coupled with the Page of Swords. Communication. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but then also someone could be watching you as you make your victory lap. Like you might think you might think it's over and they're not, like say you break up with someone and you think it's over and you think that they're not really watching you anymore, but they really might be watching you to see how you do. It could be a situation in which they're like, oh, well, that's okay. It's only a matter of time before they come back. I mean, they can't survive without me. So they're going to be watching you, expecting you to flounder, but instead seeing you flourish. Oops. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies moving deeper into February, you have the Hanged Man. Official Pisces energy. And I... I Honestly, this could either be you or the other person. For you, if you're the one, if you're making some moves and moving in a new direction, you might run into a little bit of stagnancy, um, but that's only going to help you see things from a different perspective. For others of you, this is the, uh, that other person that's watching you here with the Page of Swords and is now like astounded and flabbergasted because they could potentially be seeing you really flourish in a new setting and they're stuck where they are, and that really starts to illuminate some things for them, okay? The Hanged Man is coupled with the Knight of Cups. Well, gee, now this person's all like, well, fuck. I want them back. I don't know. That's up to y'all. Please don't let me tell you what to do. But there is some sort of precarious situation, some sort of stagnancy or being stuck in some way that changes someone's perspective and now they want to express some sort of love. Um, and it seems that they've been knocked down a peg from the king to the knight. And so it's like they've been humbled in some way. This either could be, this could be you Sagittarius or it could be somebody else that you're connected with. Keep in mind that the energies are fluid. Yep. Your challenge, moving deeper into February, you have Six of Pentacles. But see, this is exactly why I was saying, I don't know, that's up to y'all. Like, don't let, don't let me tell you what to do, but be careful. Because now if this person comes back, or if you try to come enter, re-enter into this person's life, there is going to be a real serious need for reciprocity. And remember, I said in the beginning of the reading, someone needs to start picking up the slack. Well, homie, check it out. You've got this 
new perspective you've stumbled upon now or the universe has essentially forced upon you. And now you want to come back and, you know, make things right and start over. But you've got to pick up the slack. All relationships are a two-way street. Can you balance this out? Can you give as much as you receive? Or are you just going to end up taking, 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 taking again? Hmm. I don't know. That's up to you. Six of Pentacles is coupled with. What did I say? The Two of Cups. Hearts reuniting is what Spirit just said. But the relationship is not going to stand if there is no balance between give and take. It will just crumble the way it did in the past. Closing message or potential outcome here moving deeper into February, Sagittarius, you have uh, temperance. I do see things balancing out then for you. Whether that's on your own with this other, with this same person or with a completely different person. For some of you, it is with the same person, especially if they end up coming back and saying and trying to start over. But also, Sagittarius, this is your energy, temperance. Okay, so that's cool. You're showing up in your reading. Hey, Sagittarius. <laughs> temperance is coupled with the Hierophant. Well, well, well. I was picking up on some marriage vibes earlier, but with all of the cards that were coming out here, I didn't want to mention it because I did, just did not see how that was going to work out. Well, looky here. You've got the Ten of Cups, you've got the Four of Wands, you've got the Hierophant, you've got Temperance. All of that can talk about marriage. Now, what we could be talking about here for some of you are it's like the final push to really see if you two really want to spend the rest of your lives together. Now, yes, there's always divorce, but I personally don't recommend you should ever go into a marriage with the, with the thought of, oh, well, if it doesn't work out, I can just divorce them. No. That's a waste of time, a waste of money, a waste of resources. Like... That's that kind of shit that people were saying. Um, that, that's the kind of energy that would um, damage the sanctity of marriage that they were saying gay people were doing just by in the fact of them getting married. You know what I mean? So like, no. <laughs> I would not recommend that. So this is really could be that final push to see you know, if you two truly want to work this out and be a team for the rest of your lives. That's for a select few of you. Wow, that's really interesting. I'm trying to see what else this could mean, but I'm, the strongest thing I'm getting is some sort of marriage vibe. So this reading may, the end, at least the end of the reading, may only resonate with a select few of you. Up until the mayor, uh, 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 you know, everything, a, a lot more might resonate up until this marriage part here. Hmm. Okay. So let's get into your Oracle guidance now, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Let's see what you got here. Best message, please. Ooh, ciao. Just came all flying right out, didn't it? Underneath the deck, you have patience. Wow. And temperance does speak to patience. Hmm. Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Okay. Because I do think deep changes are happening here, Sagittarius, either on your part or the other person's part. So, yeah, patience might really be needed. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is incredibly windy right now. Anyway, 
Your closing message, you have abundance. Enjoy the bounty in life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Well, gee, that's quite beautiful. Okay, so there you have it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.